A high-stakes vote on the debt ceiling agreement is expected to take place in the House tonight on the bill negotiated between President Biden and House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. McCarthy in his final push to lock down the votes needed to pass the deal and avoid a potentially catastrophic default. Everybody has a right to their own opinion. But on history, I'd want to be here with this bill too. But hard right conservative Republicans are slamming the deal McCarthy brokered, saying it falls far short of their spending cut demands. It's a terrible bill. Plain and simple. In a surprising development, the Congressional Budget Office estimates the Republican demand for stricter work requirements for older Americans receiving food benefits, known as SNAP, will actually increase federal spending by $2 billion and make 78,000 more people eligible for assistance. Some Republicans accusing the Speaker of being outsmarted by Democrats, though most appear to be backing McCarthy, pointing to how the deal will still cut $1.5 trillion over the next decade. The Fiscal Responsibility Act is a historic step to restoring fiscal sanity and holding Washington accountable. Last night, the deal cleared its first major hurdle when conservative Kentucky Republican Thomas Massey's vote allowed the bill to be narrowly passed out of committee. But even if the House approves the bill, it still faces challenges in the Senate. Just one senator could block swift passage, and despite both party leaders in the chamber signing off on the bill, some haven't decided how they'll vote. I have a lot of concerns about this agreement. I think the Biden-McCarthy debt deal is a disaster for the country. Senior leadership aides say they're relying on moderate lawmakers to push this bill through Congress. The Senate Majority Leader has already told members they should be prepared to stay this weekend for votes. M1, ABC News, Washington.